Well, that wasn't real pretty. So how do you assess that one? I don't know. You know, I, I think it's on me. I didn't have the kids ready to play today. You could tell out from the start. Uh, we were flat. We went out and made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I got to take a good hard look at what I'm doing as the head football coach tomorrow. See if I can get this thing right. But uh, I didn't have his team ready to play. Tommy had his team ready to play, and I didn't have my team ready to play, and, and that's on me. You talk about being flat. Uh, can you just kind of go in specific on what? Well, we, we went and missed a lot of assignments on defense. You know, I'm supposed to be known as a guy that knows how to coach defense. And shoot, I don't know what they had at halftime. I want to say like 300 yards plus at halftime. And, uh, you know, we're, we're busting a lot of assignments. Uh, we're missing a lot of tackles. Uh, I haven't done a good job getting the defense ready to play. You know, I thought the offense played pretty well in the first half. Uh, I don't know. I got I to gotta really evaluate what we're doing. From a coach's standpoint, what I'm doing as a head football coach, I think this team's better than what we put out on the field today. In fact, I, it better be, because it wasn't very good today. Now, considering the struggles that you are having defensively, how deflating was it for that fumble right before the halftime? Oh, I think that was, you know, it, it all adds up. I mean, when when you got a team that's struggling, it's just one thing after another. You know, we muff that punt down there. I mean, we do things that uh, you can't win football games doing the playing the way we play. And we got to understand things like that, and we've got to get better at that. And, you know, there's a reason I'm sitting in this chair right now. I guarantee you that. So I got to get it right. Especially after the last game, did you have high hopes coming into today? I did. I thought this was a game we could win. You know, I thought we'd turn the corner. Uh, you always look for a team to take on your personality, take on uh, your mentality. Uh, I thought what we did practice-wise, it changed the mindset of the kids. I really believe college football is 80% uh, mental. And uh, we came out and we played today like we did against North Texas. And I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I really got to evaluate why we played like that. We're a better football team than that. I still believe that. Could you? Uh... Coming off the bye week for the second time, do you think that could be some problems with you and getting ready? Uh, I think sometimes when you come off a of bye week, you, you, uh, you're you not as crisp. you got a little bit of rust that you got to shake off as far as your timing and your tempo and, and those things. But that wasn't a problem today. I mean, the problem today was we just did not play very well. You know, we missed tackles, we blew assignments, we dropped footballs, we fumbled footballs. You can't play at a high level doing things like that. You're going to lose every time you play like that. Is it man? I mean, you've been you've coached defense for a long time. When guys are missing tackles and stuff like that, is that usually effort or? Uh, no, nah, it's not really so much effort. Right. I think it's more uh, guys trying to do too much, trying to overextend. Uh, I mean, I had a couple of seniors who, who blew some plays that they haven't blown those plays in three years, and they're trying to make plays. And God bless them for doing that, but. You can't play football like that. Everybody's got an assignment. If you don't execute your assignment, a good football team make you pay. And they've made us pay for that. At what point did you decide to change quarterback? Uh, Stitch got a little beat up there. I uh, wanted to take a look at Matt, see what he could do in that, in that fourth quarter. Um, just wanted to give some kids opportunities. You know, I'm still searching for answers right now. When you get beat like that, you're looking at, hey, maybe we get, need to do something different. And, uh, you know, you give some kids an opportunity, maybe a spark, and, and you can build on that. And, you know, that's what was kind of my idea there. How did you feel about what you saw from both of them? You know, I thought Matt did okay with his feet. I, I didn't think he threw the ball very well. I thought he held the ball too much. Uh, I think, you know, we've got it right with Stitch right now. Um, you know, hopefully he's not too banged up. But uh, it, I like Matt, but he's, uh, to me, he showed one dimensional today. Anything else, guys? Appreciate that. Yeah.